Hi, welcome back to the Design, Creativity and Technology channel. My name's Aaron. In this video today, we're going to be finalising part five of this little Millvice Stop series that was designed in Autodesk Fusion 360 and made via their CAD CAM software. Let's get started. Uh, once again, thank you to Michael Connor Woodwork for donating this file for use in this video. Let's get started. Uh, you can see here today, guys, uh, we're machining the arms, the bottom and top arm. And you'll notice that I've set them in a dual vice setup and the left hand one will be G54 and the right hand one will be G55. You'll notice in my stock I've applied a joint to that arm and the stock uh, replicates exactly the stock that I had cut by the uh, aluminium supplier. Now to show you the different work offset you can have a look at this when I right click on OP1 go across the post processor and you'll see that I've got uh, work offset 1 set come over to work offset number two and you'll see the same thing here. Okay, work offset number two, so that's G55. And I'll just cancel that. I won't go through the strategy that I use, guys, but I've shown you all this before. There's, not, there's nothing new here. It's all to the uh, strategy facing, adaptive contours and chamfering, that sort of thing. So you can see I've done a top face on both arms, outside um, adaptive on both arms, OD contour, as well. I've bored the holes. The only different one is the top arm here has a tap. It has a tap thread in there, rigid tap. And last but not least is the chamfering uh, to, de to break that burr on the top. Okay, so let's duck over to the machine and let's take a look at this in action now. <laughs> Alrighty, so now that I've done the, the first op of the arms, I need to flip these arms in the vise and buzz that hat off and machine that contour. Now to do this uh, nicely and make it to look uh, accurate, or to make it accurate, is that I have to make these soft jaws. Now these are some quick change soft jaws that I designed and made myself at home. I'll cover this in a later video, but you can see that they just quickly go in and slip on. You'll notice here that I've machined out a pocket for the arm to slot into, and I did this for both sides. So I did it for the top and bottom arms. I'll just show you one here. Back up here, I need to turn that component back on. Oops, not that one, there we go. Come back down to our cam. And you'll see here, guys, that it's a face to buzz that hat off. 
and a contour chamfer to break those sharp edges and make that part look nice. Let's go to the milling machine and let's take a look at this in action. Alrighty, so now that the arms are all cut out, um, there's one more thing left to do, and that's to put this little uh, set screw hole in here in the bottom arm at the top here. Now, I had some trouble doing this, and uh, if anyone from Autodesk is watching, look, hey, reach out to me, please. So, uh, Tim, Paul, Al, Curtis, uh, Bryce, any of you guys, please, I'm, I'm open to suggestions. I could not get this boring strategy to work. Now, I think it's because this has become an elliptical, an elliptical shape in here. Even though I could pick up that bore, uh, for the life of me, it was a failed tool, tool path. So something, it's something simple I've missed uh, anyway. But I'll show you my workaround, guys. So I didn't get stuck with it. I just quickly replicated the half of this arm, the, the top half here, in a new file, and you'll see in here. Okay, and not a problem. I picked up that bore and I rigid tapped it. I didn't worry about the chamfer because that would have been uh, another tool path that, which would follow, I think it would be a trace or something like that. And I haven't really used that before. This one here with variable uh, Z heights. It's probably something that I can do at a later video. Alrighty, so let's go to the machine guys. Uh, let's cut it out and stay with me. I'm sure you'll, uh, you'll enjoy it. Okay, that concludes part five of our Millvice stop. Thank you very much for following this project all the way through. I really hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. Um, I love the finished product. Okay, so stick around. I'll show you a little bit of our Autodesk University in Las Vegas when I caught up with Scott Moyce and Kevin Ellingson. Uh, we both flew in and I uh, caught up with them at reception. Then we went out and had a went out on the town, had a few drinks. Check out the keynote, guys. Uh, over 10,000 people there. It's the biggest conference I've ever been to in my life. Alrighty, I'll catch you next time on the next video. See you later. Bye-bye.